This is uh, not an uncommon breakfast for me. You know, I'm sure if you saw some of the other videos that we just talked about, you know, the full day of eating in the grocery haul, I'm pretty much just eating food where I'm looking at the carbs, the macros, you know, the proteins, fats, stuff like that. So when are we going to hit arms? Like three hours-ish, four hours? Yeah, a few hours, about three hours. So, you know, I want some carbs. I want some electrolytes in my system. So that's going to be primarily from the ramen. This might just be because I'm still a college student, but it's got a special place for me. So two packs of these, I'll be about you know, 100 grams of carbs, 30 of fat, but you know, there's no protein. So for that, we'll throw some eggs on. Just scramble, that'll be fine. I guess we'll just get the water boiling first and start the eggs. If I was cooking a steak or, you know, beef, stuff like that, I'd have to weigh out, you know, how many grams of chicken or, you know, whatever. Whoops. But with the eggs, you know, once you've dieted enough and you've kind of tracked your stuff for long enough, you just know how many macros are in each, right? I don't even have to flip it over to know that each egg is six grams of protein and five grams of fat. So if I throw eight in, right, that's 40 grams of fat and 48 grams of protein. So the eggs, that makes it close enough to breakfast, right? So one thing that kind of concerns me just in general, you know, maybe not with the most advanced lifters, but you know, early guys, they'll tell me they had a really high protein breakfast and it was just three eggs. I mean, 18 grams of protein in a meal. How many are you having in your day? Three? That doesn't really add up. You know, it's a uh, pretty basic rule of thumb just to follow if you're trying to gain muscle, right? If you're, you know, actually starting a lifting routine is to do at least a gram of protein per pound of body weight, right? So if you're a 180 pound dude, how many does that mean you need in a day, right? 180. Just let that sit for a little while. We're not even close to boiling, so I might even just break into the eggs before the ramen starts. How long did that take? Maybe two minutes to cook? Pretty quick. Yeah, really not that difficult. All right, so wait another few minutes for the water to actually get boiling, throw the ramen in, then everything will be pretty much plated. We can actually start fueling up for the lift. Oh yeah, that's hot. I thought you were going to say that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> Is it always the chicken flavored? 
Yeah, I'll get a little bit tight. Like, there's a there's a ton, but the chicken's probably just the best. I might just be saying that because that was like the first one I tried, but it's it's and it's classic. Like, I'll get beef or like shrimp sometimes. It's all the same thing, but yeah. So I'll let that boil up, strain off the soupy water, add a little bit colder water. Because if I were to just pour that into a bowl, I'm gonna have to wait five minutes for it to cool off or like add ice. So what I'll do is I'll strain it and then add colder water when I actually mix it together. Because I mean, you know, this, this isn't like the best food per se. It's like McDonald's, right when you make it, it's good enough. But if you let it kind of sit and like get soft, I don't want to eat it. So this will be a couple of minutes. I might break into the eggs first. So I was just about to like start calculating how many calories this was, but when I just plug it in here, it'll add it up for me. So the ramen will be 14 and then 104. It says eight grams of protein, but I mean, it's, it's like from rice. That's so like nothing. The eggs will end up being 45 grams of fat and 40, what's nine times six? 54. 54 grams of protein. So 1100 calorie breakfast. That sounds about right. It's a big chunk. The last thing I want to do is eat like a super small breakfast, maybe like a medium sized lunch and then be stuck with like two and a half thousand calories left at eight o'clock. Cause then either I stay up late trying to eat it or I won't eat it, go to sleep and I'll be, you know, behind on the bulk. Small uh, this is done. particularly concerned with you know the amount of salt that's in these because you know I don't have a ton of electrolytes floating around my system but if I didn't drink any water like I'm gonna drink a huge jug of the cluster dextrin before we go train because if you eat a ton of salt but then don't have any fluids with it I mean you're just asking for dehydration up enough. Mm, smells good. Go. No milk this morning, Sam? I may get some milk. I'm unsure yet. Milk? That's more of it if I'm feeling it. It's not necessarily planned, but it's uh, it's close to a staple of the diet. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, this is done. Throw a little salt and pepper on, and uh, just chow down. If I can figure out how to open this. So probably sit here 10, 15 minutes, and then this is all gonna be gone. 